Hey Fire Signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, thank you for tuning into your reading. We are going to be looking at the next major changes coming up for you. So this is super exciting. Any sort of change, new connections, new people, any sort of thing you're progressing to, we are going to be looking at what that is. So it is intended for all the Fire Signs. But if you're a cross watcher connecting with a Fire Sign, this absolutely can be helpful for you. Before I begin, if anyone was after a private reading, I am currently accepting those, so please feel free to be in touch, and I will send you all the booking details. Also, if you would like to become a channel member, that'd be great. You will get access to member-only content, so you can do that via the link below. Um, and one more thing, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That would be great. So let's have a look and see Fire Signs the next major changes in your life. Okay, new chapter. It's a destined new change that's coming up around you. Okay, I feel like some of you are changing up your job. I'm seeing a new job or a new career path that's coming up around you here. It could also be more money. Um, but I feel like there is a huge change up and you're going to be very happy doing that fire signs. It's for you. So I feel like it's something connected to your life purpose or something you were de destined to do because we've got destiny coming into play here. You may have a destined Aquarius coming in, okay, for friendship, through work, through love. This person is part of your journey. I'm also getting this, this crescent moon is cancer vibes. So... Could be a cancer coming up around you or there's unfinished business maybe with a cancer um i do feel like the high priestess says there's there's a chapter that you're still to write fire signs i'm getting unfinished vibes okay um you might be revisiting a past connection the moon can be the past so something from your past an opportunity that you missed you skipped um, maybe you deferred from university, maybe you left a person in a relationship, maybe you delayed plans to move and live overseas. It's like these changes are coming back up, they're, they're coming back up around you. Let me take this card out, Knight of Cups, okay. Ace of Wands has come up twice, so this could be two major changes, two huge opportunities. Six of Wands, you're coming into victory. Look, I really feel like a lot of you are creating a legacy. The star tells me you're going to be in the public eye or you're about to become famous or well-known in your field. The work that you do, you're about to be recognized, discovered. If you're chasing the fame game, the star card is telling me you're about to hit it big time. Some of you might be winning the lotto, um, you're becoming famous, you're going to be scouted by someone. It could even mean like going exclusive in a relationship so or even like connecting with someone famous. It may even end up romantic or this person might end up like a lifelong friend or mentor. Um, but I feel like you're going places. The star tells me you're putting out star work, star quality. So I really feel like there's this new chapter that you're taking on and you're going to create a name for yourself. And I feel like you're going to connect with the right people that are going to put you on some sort of platform. And a lot of people will be able to admire the work that you do, the talent that you have, anything that you're sort of putting out there to the world. But I do feel it's your destiny. So I feel like destiny is calling you here. Um, there's an important document that's about to be handed to you. So could be like a contract. It's life changing. A contract, uh, a deed to a home, um, a visa application to live overseas or to be in a relationship. Um, successful application with the six of ones. So I think definitely coming into victory. Um, strong, strong, strong outlook. If you're dealing with a fire sign, if you're dealing with an aqua, beautiful. Nine of Swords is here though, so I feel like you've had anxiety or stress about it. There is an ending to something here, but it's part of your journey. I get for some of you there's an ending to heartbreak or you towards the end of your journey of healing. So it could be like from um, a physical injury. Uh, it could be like mental healing. It could be financial healing or healing in relationships. You are towards the end of that cycle because you've got the nine below. So I feel like you've made a lot of progress. Whether you're aware of it or not, fire signs, you've done the hard yards. So I feel like that's sort of wrapping up. Um, the Knight of Cups is here, so I definitely feel like there's a new emotional chapter. You're about to enter into a relationship or someone's going to offer you their heart. It can be someone under the sign of a water, 
uh, signs, so Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Um, and I feel like some of you might even be moving in with this person. And you might either fall in love really quickly or end up moving in with each other really quickly. And I think it's going to be your idea. In fact, you probably both will bounce these ideas off each other and be like, yeah, let's do it. Let's go for it. So a lot of motivation that's coming up around you here. Okay, I want to say, notice how she's sort of looking. She's got her back to us and she's looking at us. Okay, on fire signs, there's an ego moment here that's coming up. I don't know what it is. If you're chasing this fame game, some of you are about to blow up and then kind of think you're above it all. Um, so I feel like I see you looking down on people a little bit here. So I don't know how high you're going, but be careful. Don't burn your bridges because you never know when you're going to need to reconnect with these people later in life. There's, there's more purposes that they're serving for you than you're seeing at this current stage. So it makes me feel like, this isn't the end of your journey. You'll have to potentially face these people again. But some of you are like, you're going to look down on it. So I feel like it's a warning. Six of Wands. Yes, you're in a good place. You're in high places. Thank your lucky stars. You got there. Thank the people that are around you that put you there as well. Just a gentle reminder. You know, ego is crazy. It makes us do crazy things. It makes us act in ways we possibly wouldn't. But um, I thought I should mention that. Um, I wonder if you're releasing something here emotionally as well. I feel like there's a huge change in a sense where you're letting go of something that you feel wasn't for you. And it's sort of putting you on the right path of things that are destined for you with the star card. So you've got to, you've got to trust that. Um, High Priestess could be pregnancy as well. There might be a new member of the family. Uh, it could be creating a family home, falling pregnant, fostering, adopting, getting a pet, any sort of new addition. It's fertility. But I also feel like some idea that you have, you'll be able to put into action. So I feel like you're going to be very motivated and you'll be able to work towards that as well. But definitely on the career front, I'm seeing a lot of success for you. You're making things happen. You are, I feel for some of you, career could be mixed with business or a new job change, a new career path leads to you, leads you to your destiny, leads you to someone like a divine masculine, divine feminine connection. So that's powerful. Everything is intertwined here for you by science. Really, really lovely to see. So um, I'm going to leave it there. I didn't mean to tell you off. I'm just reminding you, um, but I hope that has been helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you very soon. So thank you everyone so, so much for your support and for checking in. And we'll be in touch very soon. So thanks everyone. Take care.